mates. Uh, Bindi Irwin here, daughter of Steve Irwin, the original Calculus Hunter. Uh, today I'm going to take you with me all the way to Africa uh, so we can explore the domain of a slope field. All right, let's go. Her initial condition is at the point 1, negative 1. Watch how she finds the particular solution to the differential equation dy over dx equals 1 plus y divided by x. She is a natural at pairing the y's and x's to the dy and dx. It sets up a nice equation to anti-derive as she does. Right now, I've captured the constant c. It's natural log of 2. And we need to plug it back into this equation, the original one, in order to find uh, the, the equation. So y equals negative 2x plus 1, and with this sort of problem, we've got to state the domain in order to receive all nine points on an AP3 response. So with that being said, we know that when dealing with natural logs, x always was, has got to be greater than 0. So there you go. Next on our list of things to see in the Sahara is the infamous hyena. To help Bindi find one, she brought along Egyptian native and hyena expert, Jamie. Thanks for joining me, Jamie. It's my pleasure, Bindi. We're so lucky today because we have a bunch of hyenas out and about. Just look over there. Let's get closer, mates. Let's describe its current position at y equals t to the third. Now let's get this hyena moving so we can take the derivative of its position to check out that velocity. Perfect. So assuming it was running in a straight line, we take the exponent and multiply it by the constant out in front, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So its velocity is y equals 3t to the second. Now, the, for the acceleration, do we derive the equation uh, a second time to find it? Yes, that's exactly it. So the acceleration would be y equals 6t. I'll say it again. Brilliant. Now, uh, let's see if I know something here. Uh, if, the, if the velocity is positive and the acceleration is positive, the aina is speeding up. Yes. Ah, see, uh, so then that also means that if the velocity is negative, but the acceleration is positive and the opposites, that means aina is slowing down. Yes. Ah, we learn something new every day, I tell you, every day. Another fun fact for you is when the acceleration and the velocity have the same side, the hyena is moving to the right. Whoa, that's crazy, mate. Crazy. Another that's animal coming in this area is the African hedgehog. The African hedgehog? Let's go find one, mates. Hedgehogs are known to have a round shape like a semicircle, not a cusp because the left hand derivative equals the right hand derivative. In other words, slopes from both sides equal each other. Oh, let's find the type of the tangent line on this little guy. Great idea! All we have to do is take the derivative of the function. And to be really specific, specific we use the point slope form and a specific point on the graph to find the slope of this tangent line. What if this hedgehog was the graph of the derivative? Well, we know at the topmost point uh, on the graph that the derivative uh, slash the slope equals zero. What are you doing there, little guy? Mm -hmm. uh, that means that the second derivative equals zero and there's an inflection point because the slope of the graph changed from positive to negative. Oh, so I remember. Uh, here and here would be the critical points. Uh, that's right, Jamie, because when the graph equals zero, the function has changed size. You can use critical values to determine whether the original graph has a relative minimum or maximum value. You can tell by the sign of the derivative. When the first derivative changes from positive to negative, the original graph has a max. When it changes from negative to positive, Actually, it has a min. Yeah. All this calculus is making us a little tired. I say we call it a day. What do you say? I agree. All right. Thank you for joining us on Calculate, Calculus Hunter. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Please tune in next week for when we uh, find the area between two curves in the Great Coral Reef. I need to, I haven't, I didn't have my lines ready, so I'm going to <laughs> need to start over. 
So therefore, our domain here is x is greater than zero, I think. Now it's, it's, it's less than, it's less than, what's it now? Can you see our papers? Um. Coco, you need to sit up so we don't see our papers. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, just tell me when you're ready. We're good.